Using the new live stream tools from Riverside, not only can you simulcast and live stream to multiple social platforms at the same time, but you can hold visually engaging live streams by using our media board, screen sharing, and more all inside the Riverside Studio. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use all those live streaming tools and how you also get a high quality recording every time you live stream with Riverside that you can then edit later, use our Magic Clips tool to create vertical video from that long form content so you can share it to Reels or YouTube Shorts, and use other AI features like our Generate Show Notes, Set Pace feature, Magic Audio, and more. Here I am in one of my studios for Riverside and I'll click Go to Studio. Choose your camera, microphone, and speaker output, whether or not you're using headphones, and here we are in the Riverside Studio. You'll see in the upper left corner, we have a new live stream tool right here. If I expand this menu, you'll see our new live stream tools where you can connect multiple social accounts and use Riverside audience mode to live stream. You can select the gear icon here and stream in up to 1080p video quality, and you can choose to remove the Riverside watermark here. The Live Studio add-on is available to all of our standard and pro customers, and its features are available to anyone on the Riverside business platform. If you'd like to learn more about the Live Studio add-on, you can check out the link in the video description below. Going back, you see I can turn on the Riverside audience link. This allows me to live stream directly on the Riverside platform, and then I get features like live call-ins. Live call-ins are where guests can actually join the recording by video and audio and ask a question. I can copy this link, send it out via social media, or send it to my internal team, and then those viewers can participate on the Riverside platform. And underneath that, I can add multiple social networks to live stream. Hitting the three dots, you'll also see I have access to Twitch, TikTok, or any custom RTMP server. If you'd like to learn more about simulcasting to all of these social platforms, I'll put a link down in the video description where I walk through each one. But let's connect a YouTube channel and a Twitch live stream, and we're gonna simulcast to both. Clicking the YouTube icon here, it's gonna send me over to my Google login. Log in with your Google account, and then choose the channel where you'd like to stream. Now that that channel is connected, you'll see it here, and it's toggled on. That means as soon as I hit record here in the studio, it will begin live streaming to that YouTube channel as well. I can also click the three dots to disconnect this channel, or I can toggle this channel on or off once it's connected. This will leave it connected to my studio, but I can choose whether or not I wanna live stream to that platform right before I hit record. Let's add one other channel, which is our Twitch channel. Now you can see I've connected both of these social platforms and I can toggle them on or off before I hit record, choosing which platforms I'm streaming to. Now before I start recording and live streaming, I wanna get some media ready, this way it's visually engaging. If I click the media tab here in the bottom right, this is the Riverside Media Board where you can upload video or audio files up to 100 megabytes in size. Once uploaded, I can preview these video clips here and set these as live, and this will go to the live stream. Using a countdown video like this is a great way to get your live stream viewers engaged and ready, but maybe you wanna disable your camera and microphone temporarily. So you can start the live stream, the countdown will be going, but no one will see you just yet. Then when you're ready to start presenting, you can turn your camera and microphone back on. I can click preview down here in the bottom right, and it will remove that video from the live stream. You see I've uploaded multiple clips and videos, so those are ready to present. Also, you can share your screen, whether that's a web browser, a tab, or even a slideshow. Clicking the share button down here, I can share my screen, or if you're on the Riverside Business Platform, you can actually upload Keynote, PowerPoint, or PDF files and present those slides during the live stream. All of this is recorded in separate tracks, so later you can put it all together in the Riverside Editor, or download your video and audio, or every presentation and media board file separately. I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. As I'm getting ready to live stream, I also have a web browser here with multiple tabs that I'm going to share and comment on during the recording, and I'm ready to start. Once I hit the start button down here at the bottom, not only will it begin recording in high quality to my Riverside Studio, but it's actually gonna begin that live stream both to YouTube, Twitch, and using the Riverside Audience Mode link. Also, as part of our Live Studio add-on, you can actually brand your studio and live stream using this palette tool here. I can add a custom logo, change the color theme of my studio, and even how names appear for both me and my guests. And when we preview this live stream on the different platforms, you'll see all this branding is visible there as well. Now that I've begun recording and live streaming, I can click the live record button here and click to preview each of the streams to the different platforms. I'll preview the Riverside audience mode link. And this is what it looks like when someone's watching via audience mode in Riverside. They can enter their name and participate in the live chat here on the right. And me as the host can interact with those viewers using our Riverside chat right here. Those watching with Riverside Audience Mode can also request a live call-in. They'll select their camera and microphone as well, and then they can even ask their question here. When they start the live call, that will actually send a request to me as the host. I can see the question and live call-in here in the bottom left corner or under the People tab here in the studio. Then I can let that remote guest in, 
They'll be recorded in high quality, and I can access and download those tracks later and put it all together in the Riverside Editor. Going back to the Live Record button, you can see how many people are actually watching on each platform, and let's preview the YouTube and Twitch streams as well. Here's the YouTube stream, and you can see the studio branding is behind my video. And the same is true here on the Twitch live stream. Now let's go ahead and share one of the pieces of media that I had in the media board. I'll click media down here, start playing this countdown video, and you can see now I'm presenting this video to the live stream and you see it's both live on Twitch and the video is being presented on YouTube as well. Plus you still see my video and any remote guests will be in picture in picture off to the side. I'll press preview to stop sharing that video to the live stream. And I'm gonna to choose to share a tab, choose my web browser window where I have some websites loaded up already, and I'll share that screen to present. Maybe we're gonna comment on this news story. I can go over and check the live stream on Twitch. You'll see that website is being shared, visually engaging, plus me and my other remote guests are still off to the side in frames. And it's being simulcast to my YouTube channel as well. I can click stop sharing here in my studio. And then throughout the live stream, I can share more videos from the media board, screen share, or even presentation if I'm on the Riverside business platform. And then when I'm done live streaming, I can hit the stop button here at the bottom. That will stop the recording and the live stream at the same time. Once I hit stop, it's gonna upload all those files, both my video, plus any media board files and screen shares. And now I can go edit it in the Riverside editor. Here on the recordings page, I can choose to generate AI show notes, which includes summary, keywords, takeaways, even title ideas, sound bites, and chapter markers from my recording. Underneath that, I can generate magic clips, which will create vertical videos for my long form content, put animated captions on there. And then below that, I can download all the separate video and audio files can download the video tracks for both me and my remote guests. And also every screen share and media board file will have its own separate video that you can download. But the real magic happens is putting it all together in the Riverside editor. Click the edit button in the top right and let's create a new edit. Here in the editor, I can adjust the layout and branding of my video as well. I'm gonna add some spacing between me and my guest and also upload a custom background image or I can use one of these images built into Riverside right here. As you can see throughout the recording, if we did any screen shares or media board files, the Riverside editor will automatically focus on that and then put me and my remote guests in small picture in picture windows. You can also change the layout and instead of grid, I can choose full screen and it will put whatever screen share or the active speaker full screen throughout the entire recording. I personally like the grid look. This way me and my co-host are side by side and then any screen shares will be focused on when I present those. If you wanna edit your content, you actually get a full transcript with every recording. You can select text and delete it and you're actually editing your video and audio content that way. You can search the transcript to quickly jump to a certain point, and you can see all those search results reflected down here in the timeline. I can also zoom in on the timeline using this tool in the bottom right corner, and I can also split the timeline by putting the playhead where I'd like, click this tool to split the clip. I can do that as many times as I need, and then rearrange my content just by clicking and dragging these sections around the timeline. You can also use our magic tools features like set pace, removing the perfect amount of silence, We'll let you know how many pauses and seconds of silence we remove, depending on how fast you want the pace to be. We also have our magic audio feature, which will make any microphone sound studio quality. If you wanna make vertical video for TikTok or YouTube shorts, you can change the format right here in the Riverside editor, add some animated captions using our tool here on the right, multiple templates to choose from, and then you can go customize the font, size, even animation style all right here. Maybe I'll change the color of that animation. And we even have text and image overlay features. This way, if you wanna add lower thirds or URLs for a sponsor, add those text overlays. Image overlays, you can pull stock imagery, search for images up here, or upload your own images. Overlay that on top of your video. And when you're ready to export, click the export button in the top right corner. You can export up to 4K video. Normalize audio makes everyone the same volume and you're ready to export this fully edited video completely in Riverside. Then you can take that video file and upload it to Spotify for podcasters for your video podcast there, and take that same video and upload it to YouTube to have your video podcast there as well. If you'd like to learn more about Spotify for podcasters and how you can host your video and audio for free, check out this video right up here. And if you'd like to learn more about maybe upping your video game, maybe with equipment or just making the most of the gear you already have, you can check out this video right here. Don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel where we answer all your questions. You can leave a comment below this video too. I answer all of those personally. And we have lots of videos on how to make the most of the Riverside platform and all the incredible new features that have literally come out just in the last couple months. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.